Well, the forces of tolerance have struck again, this time in the state of Wisconsin. Until last week, Kim Dearman worked as a police dispatcher for the University of Wisconsin La Crosse. But after Dearman defended President Trump's executive order on immigration, the first one, to a coworker, the school informed her she would be fired for using, quote, threatening or abusive language. Today, the school's chancellor, Joe Gao, hastily offered Dearman her job back, saying she shouldn't have been canned without a hearing, you think? Kim Dearman and her attorney, Lee Fear, join us from La Crosse, Wisconsin. Kim and Lee, thanks a lot for joining us. Um, so, Kim, this is apparently you've been offered your job back because you didn't have a hearing, but this was after <laughs> the, the university explained that you had threatened and intimidated people. Tell us your version of what happened. Hi, Tucker. Um, I had received the same email that everybody else had received in the university system regarding um, Chancellor Gao's opinion and his apology. And I had a ca casual conversation with the young lady that I was training that I had hired to um, work in our department. And apparently she was offended by it, by me um, indicating that I thought uh, terrorists or immigrants should be um, sent back to their Middle Eastern country. So that, that's, and, that's what, excuse me, uh, that's what you said? You said terrorists or immigrants should be sent back to their countries? I said, yes, terrorists should be go, sent back to their, should not be allowed into this country, and right. any type of terrorists in this country should be sent back. Huh. And then she tattled on you to the school which fired you, is that right? Apparently, yes. Uh, so, Lee, um, can you do that? It's pretty hard to fire people anywhere for expressing agreement with the presidential policy that's grounds for firing in Wisconsin? Well, they clearly, they clearly did not use uh, the standards that they should have, and they uh, did not follow their protocol. They were, um, one of the problems here is that we don't know what the standard is. We don't know what um, Mr. Gao will be offended by. It could be anything. Apparently the word immigrant is racist, according to what I've un come to understand, and that immigrants going back to their country is a racist uh, thought that should not be expressed in uh, modern America. Even though saying, her saying that immigrants should go back to where they came from is just talk, and President Obama sent millions of people back to where they came from. Right. President Clinton sent 13 or 14 million people back to where they came from. Well, I guess what so I I'm find not sure so why their actions well, are okay. My client's Trump. words are not okay. The president or the chancellor of the university who spoke, his emails are just fine, even though he retracted them and right. apologized to the state of Wisconsin. So, I mean, I, I guess what I'm struck by here is that you're not a tenured professor. You're a police dispatcher. I don't know how much you make, but a lot less than a tenured professor. And here is this guy with lifetime employment with a high salary disagreeing with you and just stamping you out, just crushing you. Do you want to go back to work there after this? Um, you know, I, I've intentionally wanted my job back in the beginning, but... Um, now I'm, I'm worried about going back and being let go for basically any type of reason. Right. He, I noticed that he, in the note announcing you're being fired, said you had poor job performance. What do you think of that? I take offense to it. Um, I had received uh, a communication from my direct supervisor in December, indicating that my performance was superior. Yeah, well, that was <laughs> that was before you agreed with Trump. Big mistake. Thanks, Kim, and good luck. <laughs> I hate to see Thank this. Thank you. Thanks.